Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this week's video I was going to concentrate on doing a bit more engine maintenance but with all the torrential rain we've had it seems to have just completely funneled into the front of the van. The first thing I've got to do is take the seats out, take the carpet out and just have that in here drying and then hopefully we'll be able to see where the leaks are coming from. <laughs> how much moisture is inside this van it's absolutely covered in condensation on the front windscreen where this mat is so wet it's really damp under here I've got to get this out Okay, that's both the seats out. Now I need to try and get this rubber mat out. So you can see the state of the floor. Um, okay, some rust there. Doesn't look great, but I suppose it could be expected. Let's take this mat out. I think it's more on the passenger side that it's leaking but I might as well do the driver's side while I've got the seats out. If you're new to the channel, I recently made a video for rust proofing the underside of the transit or the chassis and that. I'm using a very similar method for doing the floor inside here, so you might want to check that video out if you're interested. If you like watching this kind of video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it and it's totally free to subscribe. So I can see exactly what I'm doing, I'm just going to clean all the dirt out of here. wire brush on a drill. Getting rid of as much rust as possible and I'm going to paint this afterwards with my rust converter. Um, so anything that's left should turn into a black paintable substance and then on top of that I'm going to paint all in here with red oxide but I want to get it all to this first so then I can treat it with my rust converter. Now this wire wheel on the grinder here is pretty brutal I got it off of eBay but the bristles are so stiff that it does do the job very quickly so I'm just going to use that and quickly run over all the rust spots. you can see I have discovered some holes great it's fine it's in an okay place it's just on the step oh, that's better I just have to stop for a sandwich I've just got some back tan here <clears throat> rust converter and I'm going to paint that all over the areas which I've exposed anywhere where there might be rust and you can paint directly over this rust converter once it's worked its magic so I'm going to be painting the floor in here 
with red oxide primer. It's a good rust inhibitor and um, it's cheap as well and I've got plenty in the garage. There we go, you can see it's all painted with the vac tan now and it's turning a black sort of colour. I've just got to wait for it to dry before I start the next step. So this is one of the holes I've got to patch in. I've got some cereal box cardboard here um, and I'm just going to cut out a template for welding in these holes. It's quite early on a Sunday morning so I don't want to wake the neighbours up. I'm going to have to leave it a while before I start cutting and grinding the metal. Okay, I think I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to go tidy all these pieces up. And then I'm just going to go ahead and weld them in. So I just need to clean up around the edges where I'm going to be welding now. I'm not an expert welder, but I can weld and I get by with what I've got. Um, it's nothing fancy, it's just a gasless welder. I know they're not the best, but it does a job. Right, I need a good earth to put my earth clamp on, so sometimes what I like to do is just get a little scrap piece of metal and make a little tag for my piece. And I just put a few tacks in this. So, wants to be a bit higher. There, I've got a nice bag for me to put my earth clamp on and start putting some tacks in. Right, it don't look the greatest at the moment, but. I'm just tacking it in. Okay. Well, it's getting there. What I love about welding is you can always clean up your welds with the with grinder, and then you can see where you didn't get very good penetration and, and then you can just go back over the spots that you missed. I'd say that's alright once it's got a bit of seam sealer over this, it'll be much better. All the welds are covered up with seam sealer, ready to paint. Right, it's absolutely freezing today, it's snowing. I've got a couple of holes here in the driver's side footwell which I need to patch up. Um, and then I'll start painting. But let's get these sorted first. Seam sealer to cover up the sins. Here's my red oxide primer. I'm just going to paint the floor with this. <laughs>
it's all painted up it looks much better now and at least they've got that protection so when it does leak it's not going to rot through the floor. I'm really pleased with how the floor has turned out up the front. It's got one coat of red oxide primer over it now. I've obviously welded in all the holes, treated all the rust and then painted it with a red oxide primer. It could do with another coat but it's a bit cold today, it's snowing outside. There will be a follow up video to this one where I actually locate where the water is coming in. I've got a good idea of where it's coming in from now so I'm just going to be monitoring it, wiping up the water, at least I can now because I haven't got the mat in the way and then I'll sort out the issue in an upcoming video and I'll show you what I'm going to do to sort it out. So if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it um, and thank you to everyone that subscribed recently. I aim to make a new video every week, depending on how labour intensive the video is, um, it might take a couple of weeks to release it. All the time subscribers are coming in, I'll carry on making the videos. So stay tuned and hopefully I'll see you next time. Take care.